Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Krina and today is my last day of my 50 days running challenge. So 50 days of running, but more, more details about that in future videos. What I would like to share with you today is a clip my uh, the illustrator of my second children's book, um, Benja Hughes, made uh, a while ago. And Benja is a lovely, lovely human being. He's a talented and skilled illustrator. And in my personal opinion, I think he would make a great comedian as well. Here's the clip. Hey guys, I just wanted to say, if you, if you are like me, and you enjoy uh, buying children's books and pretending that you're buying them for children when actually you're buying them for yourself, then I think what you need to do is go and support a wonderful friend of mine and author, Krina Ludmila Christia, who is the author of this book, which is Miss Camellia and the Hugo Culture Mound, How Miss Camellia Found Her Voice. Found Her Smile, again. This is a really beautiful book, um, mostly for the fact that it's illustrated by me. That's kind of what makes it so great. If you were to buy this book, you would not only be getting a beautifully written uh, children's and uh, adults book. I don't want to say adults book because that makes it sound slightly promiscuous and slightly erotic. This isn't particularly erotic as far as literature goes, but this is a story about gardening, which can be in many ways more sensual than, than one would expect. This, this book is beautiful for the fact that it is written with absolute pure love and a beautiful connection to, to the environment. There's a lovely um, little tagline somewhere, if I can find it. For all who are lost but want to find themselves, and for everyone else too. I think that pretty much involves every existing human being on the face of the earth. So if you are one of those existing human beings, then I think you should go and purchase this book and support a, uh, an indi individual author and an individual illustrator. We are both trying to make some money out of this. This is our only income. So it would be very, very highly appreciated if you were to support us in this. I don't know what's going on here with these hairs. And what you can get, not only with this book, is you get to find a, a, an image of me in the About the Artist section in which I look like a uh, either a, a cameraman for the BBC uh, making some sort of nature documentary or I look like a 19th century Icelandic explorer. Um, I'll show you a quick glimpse but if you really want to see and look at this image in great detail, you're going to have to buy the book. But there it is. All in all, guys, this is a great book and I'd love for you to buy it and I'd love for you to support my friend. And It's on Amazon. Uh, I have a link in my bio, um, so just click that and then you're right there and you're on the payment page and you can buy the book and it would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much. Just like uh, Benja mentioned it earlier, our book is still available, so please check it out on Amazon, Miss Camellia in the Hugel Culture Mount, how Miss Camellia found her smile again. We are independent creators and we appreciate every little help we get, so please share this clip uh, with your friends and give it a like, a comment, whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed the book if you've read it already. If not, I hope you will. Thank you so much for, um, for watching this clip. And I have a mention to do. A sequel to uh, Miss Camellia has been written and hopefully it will get to be illustrated in the future, um, depending <laughs> on a few things. But yeah, I just wanted to update you on that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're well. Take care.